Hey guys, it's Britt, and I have an original tag video for you today. It's called the What I Read in High School tag slash challenge. You'll find out why it's a challenge at the end, and it's completely optional. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. But there's this tag in the beauty community going on now, and it's called How I Did My Makeup in High School, and we all cringe about how we did our makeup in high school, and it's really fun. And I was talking with my friend Casey about the books that we read in high school that we thought were really, really, really amazing. And we look back on it now, and we're just like, oh god, why did, why, why did we read those? But anyway, we have nine questions and three bonus questions. So, number one fond memories. Name a series that you still love. That isn't Harry Potter. For me, this is the Warrior series by Aaron Hunter. I don't hear this series talked about a lot, actually. I'm just going to move my sticky note over. Okay, so this one is can be found in the children's section, and it is about cats. Wild feral cats. But it's basically Game of Thrones, but with feral cats. It's, it's really good. You guys should check it out. Number two. What was I thinking? Name a book that you really enjoyed, but cringe at today. For me, um, there was this book called Not My Daughter. And it was about these girls that made a pregnancy pact. And the leader of this group's mother was the principal of the school. And the, the, group, the group that had made a pregnancy pact, uh, their, their parents had all grown up together and they were also teen mothers. Yeah, it's that kind of book. Um, there's this pregnancy pact, and it... it um, not my daughter. There, it was... I really enjoyed this one in high school, because teen pregnancy and uh, knitting really appealed to me. So, yeah. Three. This is Thriller. Name a thriller that you read, and if you can't, do the thriller dance. Because this is all about embarrassing each other for fun and laughing at each other. It's, it's all for fun. Uh, for me, there was this... My introduction to Thriller was in high school, and it was this book. And it was titled Killing Brittany. It was spelled differently than my name, but I, I had to read this book. And... It's about this girl named Brittany who goes missing. She's dead, and there's this plot twist at the end. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not a good book. Boo! Name a scary story, number four. Um, or, if you can't name a scary story, if scary stories aren't your thing, name a book that you read that the idea terrifies you. For example, uh, 1984. For me, I'm a big baby, and I don't like anything scary. I don't like horror movies. Uh, Coraline is really, really terrifying to me, but I read this book called Project 17, and it was about this kid named Derek who wanted to get out of the restaurant business and there was this film competition that that was going on and he if he won he could get the scholarship and he could go to college so he gets this group together and they go to this insane asylum that's going to be torn down and it was terrifying to me at the time, and it, it was not, not good. 
Not a good book, thinking back on it. But that's the whole point of this tag. Five and six. Uh, name a required reading that you loved and one that you couldn't stand. I loved Lord of the Flies. I, this was my favorite book in high school. I loved it. It was about kids murdering each other. And it's no wonder that I love Game of Thrones now and the Song of Ice and Fire series because that was my favorite book. So, yeah. And one I hated. I hated, hated, hated A Separate Piece. I could not stand this book. The professor, the, er, uh, the teacher that I had was on pregnancy leave when we were reading this book, and the substitute that we got for this book was really, really passionate about this book, and he was also really, really racist, so, uh, he used to look at me and, and whenever Japanese subject matter came up, he would, uh, he'd give me looks, so, yeah. Um, yeah, couldn't stand it. Number seven, Anything Goes. Name a play that you read. For me, we read The Crucible, and I loved this book. It was about the Salem witch trials, and this man named John Proctor, his wife gets falsely accused of being a witch, and it's just a really, really great, powerful story. And I really, really loved it. Number eight. From book to film. Name a book that also came out. That, uh, name a book that also became a film. So, for me, this was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I believe it was my junior year of high school. And this one was my favorite book in the series. And then we went to the movies, and we saw it at midnight, and I wasn't, I wasn't excited anymore. I didn't like it. I didn't like how it was directed. I didn't like where the plot went. I didn't like the focus on the romance at all. Number nine, Bad Breakup, a romance novel that made you cringe. Um, or makes you cringe now. There was this book given to me by my friend Casey for Secret Santa, and it was called Thwonk, and it was about this, this, I uh, this girl that wanted to go to this Valentine's Day dance. It was like a prom type of deal, and she wanted to take the football, the quarterback, and the quarterback didn't know that she existed, so she finds this cherub doll in the back of a car, and the cherub doll comes to life, and... Uh, uh, mm -mm. Not a good book. Extra credit! Uh, these are optional. You don't have to, but I thought that they would be fun to add. Add these books to your future TBR. Or at least one of them. Number two, shout out to one or more of your teachers. For me, I'm shouting out Mr. Edgerton. He actually has a YouTube channel, and he was my math teacher for, I think, three years. Three years of my high school experience was with Mr. Edgerton, and I hated math. I used to cry because I had to go to math. That's how much I hated math. And I, I really, really, really hated math, but he also, ironically, he also really hated math, even though he was a math teacher, but he really understood me. So, uh, Mr. Edgerton, hi. And number three, if you do reread any of these books, post a review about it, and did your opinions change? Uh, yeah. That's this tag. So I'm going to be tagging Peter from Peter Likes Books, Richard from Books and Bullshit, Becky at Becky Ford, Sam from Green Eggs and Sam, and yeah, that's it.
All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.